With New Year's Eve fast approaching, we're on countdown. This is the makeup to take you from your everyday look to Vava Voom Studio 54 Fabulous. Go, Joelle Jones. Okay, so if we're going like death to disc, we're not taking it off, right? No. We're going straight out. Death I don't disco. mind. Neither of <sighs> us work at a desk and we're definitely not going to a disco. No, death at the disco. Yeah. <laughs> um, I also hate disco music. I know, I love disco mm -hmm. music, obviously. No. So if Joe you're... is boom, 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 and I'm... She's slow jam. I'm a slow jam. She's slow jam on disco. Yeah. Right, okay, so right. I would put on something like this. This is my Tatcha, Ride or Die, Dewy Face Mist. Because I can't just put on makeup on top of makeup. I need to have a little bit of sleep. Yeah. Instantly, your skin is super glowy. I love that product. It's really good. Would you go in there with a concealer? You wouldn't put foundation no, on? No, I wouldn't you? put foundation on. So I would use, let's say, the Charlotte Tilbury. Really good. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. And it like, I mean, it will just... If you want to look like you're not wearing makeup on some of those days, you could just wear this. You don't need anything else. When you arrived and you just put this on straight over the dewy skin, it was all you needed. Yeah, it's really good. It gets really good coverage. So I would put that on. What would you do? Because you have to do it at the same time. I would just use concealer. That was it. I wouldn't put it on. My foundation. Wouldn't you? But it would have come off. Look how much more you've got on than I do. What? What do you mean? So I would. my foundation doesn't come off. But do you know what I think? Once so I have... just apply around my nose and under my eyes. So I would do that then. So you would put a bit. I just need to put it on that top lip because I've still got my post-inflammatory erythema from my um... cold sore. Cold sore. <laughs> <laughs> my cold sores. Gosh. You're not a big blush person. You'd rather no. use a palette, wouldn't I, you? Yeah, I love a highlight, okay. especially at night. Okay. So this is um, That's the ambient, hourglass one, ambient, ambient light. Palette. I'm yeah. going to use that. Okay, she's stealing my brushes. So. Whereas I wouldn't use a highlighter, but I would use a real beautiful pop of blush like that. Now, this is the Benefit Crista, which I absolutely love, but oh my God. Oh my got, God, I haven't seen that before. You've got to be so careful because it is so strongly pigmented, so you have to knock it back. I'm doing this. She's got the proper mirror, and I'm literally just doing this. See, look, if you put too much on, you've got to be really careful. I quite, it looks quite nice, though. Too, as Sally Hughes once said, too much blush is my jam. Look at that. That's... Yeah, seen from space. Oh, I love that. Well, you know she's feeling herself when she does that. Well, I, would that... Then, I would do lip liner then. Okay. What would you do? Yeah, because I'm going to do, do we're going to do eyes. Yeah, yeah, I would if I was going, might if I was going out at night. I will only wear a I might if I was filming a makeup tutorial with you. <laughs> I would only literally put a lip liner on because during the day I just wear a soft, smudgy, like NARS afterglow and to amp it up, I would just want some definition around my lips. And this is the one I've used most this year. Believe it or not, it's the Caitlyn Jenner for MAC one. I need to find a colour match for it. It's not quite so it's like spice. spice. No, it's no, it's pinker than that. What do you reckon that is? Velvet Teddy. Teddy. Oh, I love Velvet Teddy. It's a bit darker than Velvet Teddy, but Velvet Teddy is a really good nude. It's actually very close to the colour of my lips. My natural shade. It's all right for some people. And then all that does is literally take a lip and make it a bit more done. You've got good lips. They look good. That's good. Let's see. So it's just a bit more done. Comfy. A bit more defined. Comfy. No, it look, but I have to have something that's comfortable on my lips, otherwise I, it makes me feel suffocated. What would you put on your lips? Um, so this is... That's Pillow Talk 2, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you actually... Overdone You them. overline your lips, don't you? Do I you would at night. You overline my yes. lips. Yes. Really? Yes. There's something about it that's a bit... Cheap. Trashy. Yeah, that's why I like it. Right. Now, normally I would keep my eyes fairly subtle and add loads of liner and lashes. Not today! Not, Not today, today bitch. Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what she's got? She's got the eye palette of the season, which I have wanted for so long and is sold out everywhere. Charlotte Tilbury has done these hypnotising pop shops. So there's a blue, sort of green, turquoise isn't it cosmic colour, blue and then something? the gold colour. Yeah, this is emerald. I know this one's called emerald And eyes. when you turn them, look, they actually, can you see that that is actually changing colour? It's going from purple to green. It's almost like petrol. I'm so frightened of using this. Why? Just shove it on your finger. 
Right, okay. That's the good thing about this makeup. This is never going to make me look like Kate Moss, is it? No. <laughs> Actually, it's very, very, very easy to apply. I know, it's super easy. <gasps> oh my God, that formulation is beautiful. I know. This is intercost. It's absolutely fucking best. The, I'm sorry. This. Oh my God. Let I'm me see it on this. you. Yeah, I'm looks keeping good. that. That is good. Charlotte's good. She is good. She knows colour. She is good. And she knows So it's not a single colour, is it? No, it's, it's like not. It's got petrol on a puddle. Oh my god, she's good. And the light catches something. Look at that one. Am I going to overdo this by just? But I think you have it to up, overdo it up onto my. Because we're I'm, we're hood, aren't we? Oh, the green really suits it's you. Green's you applied nice. it super thickly. Yeah, of course. I'm not messing around. Okay, can I just say we are beginning to look like extras now from Priscilla Queen of the Desert. But I was as, going for you for it. Going right. Okay, I'm just going to try that little bit underneath by flattening my brush. They're beautiful, aren't they? Oh my Let's god, blue they're good. I know, they're good. They're really good. What colours are Kate Moss's eyes? Brown, aren't they? Yeah, I think so. Which made me think I could do it. Those pictures See, are amazing. So can I just say, I've just pinched the end of that brush just to make it... Well, get your one powder wonder on it. Charlotte Tilbury, you beauty. I love that. <gasps> oh my god. It's like it's wet. It is. And it's thick and unctuous and then it just blends away. Oh my God, Charlotte, that's the best eyeshadow launch. I think we need is. to go underneath. I have just gone oh, underneath. All, right. All I did, no, you see, oh my God, <laughs> she does it with her finger. I pinched the end of my brush and just did that. Your eyes are much bigger than mine, so you're really going for it. I just think. She makes me want to put more on, look. It's that's addictive, it. this is addictive. Go big or go home. I'm gonna go big and then I'm gonna go home. <laughs> Uh, love that. Yeah. Absolutely love that. I'm finished. What, wouldn't you put on mascara? I wouldn't put mascara on over old mascara. I might. No, it, push, and actually that doesn't work, does just it? Just put a little bit of liner on. I'm useless at liquid liner, but I might just amp yeah. it up slightly. Yeah, go what would it. you do next? L mascara. No, well, no, I can't put mascara on. I mean, I've got Bad Girl Bang on. What have you got on? Uh, oh, I thought I had pillow. I've got on. What have I got on? Oh, I've got on Il Maquillage. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous to look at though, these this green. Don't look too closely, people, but that's it. That's what I would be wearing on a night out for New Year's Eve. Studio 54 meets Priscilla Queen of the Desert. <gasps> Let's have a look at your face. Let's have your mush close up. I'm gonna put a little bit of gold in the middle. I'm really going for it now. <laughs> Having just cleared up the outer edges and smudges of my eyes with a microfiber cloth, a little bit of water and a concealer, I can say, Charlotte Tilbury, you made that to last, right? Yeah, she doesn't mess around when she she's She doesn't partying. mess around. Those colours, by the way, are... My one is Emerald Eyes. My one is Cosmic Rocks. That's gold. That's the one I put on the inside of my eyes and then realised I put far too much on because I've got really big smudgy fingers. You need to literally, if you're going to do that inner eye trick, just oh, use it yeah. with a cotton bud. That's all you need. Oh, here we go. Mine's a bit, well, mine's just gone a bit, it needs a bit of a tidy up. Oh, well, that'll do. And then, so we'd do big on eyes, no lips, wouldn't we? Wouldn't we? Nude lip, yeah. 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 But every time. Now I've got a bit of a treat for you, right? Take your hair down and show everybody your hair. Oh my god, <laughs> it's just gonna stay up. Look at her hair, it's growing so thickly. Look. Look at it! <laughs> it's like it is a little bit wild. It is so thick and so healthy. Mm. But what the hell do you do with it when it just grows up and out? No. Nick Chapman, we feel you. It's like a mushroom. We genuinely feel you. So this is what like, do you know what I could do, which is actually something that I might try, is hair gel. Yeah, which if sounds I was weird. you, I would do, which is what J uh, Nick Chapman does, mm. is I would do a massive quiff. And gel the And side. then just look at that. I think that really suits you, that shape. Look at that. I think that's fab. Gel is actually quite good, actually. You know, there was this... You need some country-born early 80s hair gel. Or cock grease. Yes, that's what Sam uses. Yeah. Yeah. Because I really like this up and over your ears and like that. And then you just need something to control yeah, the fringe. Because they can't, it can't quite get 
it's so it's growing through so thick and so healthy and so I'm being strong. so good as well. Like I'm not dying. You are it. being really good. Well, I use a box dye, but that's right because that's like nothing, is it? What I really want to do is get it bleached to the white. Yeah, yeah. But you can put it back up. Don't worry. I was just making you do just that. Just when you could see. Well, you've got added another six inches. I know. Look. <laughs> After all this time. Can I just say, I've known you probably for the better part of 15 years. I've never known you with that much hair. I know, that's true. It's true. When you got married, which was 16 years ago? 15 years ago? 14. 14 yeah. years when ago. Violet was born. Yeah. I've never known you have that thick It does hair. feel thick, doesn't it? It does, definitely. And it's shiny as well. Mm. So we will do a hair update as well. That just I just caught her off guard and made her take her hair out so you could have a look what it was like. So basically what we're doing is we're taking you from a day spent at home with the family. You've got a quick minute, 10 minute fix. You've mm. got to go out for the night, Studio 54. We love a bit of Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah, love she it. knows how to do a party really, look, doesn't she? She so knows how to do yeah, a party It looks really look. good on you. I mean, in my dreams, I look like Kate Moss. You may be more Kim Wilde. In fact, I would say exactly what you are. You are like one of the Banana Ramas or Kim Wilde. Yeah, the slightly not as good cool as um, Deborah Harry. Way before her time. How were you, How were, what year were you born? 76. Yeah, so you were six or seven when those mm. songs came I don't out. really remember Wham! or anything like that. I bit I do, but I do remember, like, the first album I ever bought was Faith by George Michael, and I was about ten. Great I album. Loved him. I know. I really loved good. him. I loved him. Yeah. I used and to listen without with prejudice. Him. Your hair looks a bit like George Michael's, actually, when he used to sweat in the club, and it went from straight to being... <laughs> In the club, the club, in the mode club, in the eighties. Right, that's our desk to disco, or as we like to say it, lunch with the parents to just going to bed early. Yeah, up. yeah. Or as we're doing now, desk to bathroom. Oh, yeah, I know, desk, desk to bathroom. bathroom. I know, desk to bathroom. I'll take triple it off. cleanse. I'll take it off. She won't. She'll sleep in it. Might do. Yeah, I have been known to do that. What sleep in your makeup? Yeah. Yeah. I did it all the time when I was young. Oh, me too. Did not give a shit. Always in my age. Couldn't my understand always. what the point was no. of taking it off. No. I agree completely. Just didn't see, like... Didn't do us any harm, did it? No. Right. Didn't make ha our hair fall out, did it? <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Bye. Bye. Make all your dreams come true. <laughs> more hair, more hair, more hair, more hair. Yeah, I know.